Moving on. Well, I think it also rules. Anyway, crossword, but through quick. Um, something. It's. It's. I don't know. That doesn't quite make sense. Clothing typically wash a delicate setting. I do not know. Um, quaint worker at a traveling fair. I do not know. Woolly beast of Tibet. Yak. Embed as a mosaic tile. Inlay. Browning pot tiara. Really reek. Stink. Rixie. Um. Lail. Lie. Barney? Oh. Well, this is KFC. Okay, there we go. Not bad. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Kind of threw me for a loop. I was like, that's too vague. But I guess it, it was perfectly fine at the end of the day. I'm, only, I'm getting very good at these, by the way. The, in the very beginning, I was thinking, maybe I should just not do them anymore. No, no, no. My, my intelligence is up, by the way, as well for strands. Let's try and not use a hint for strands. Coming clean. I see already. Sponge. Okay, well, if I could put it in properly. Sponge. Dish. Can I get dishwash? I see washcloth. Uh, if I can put it in, washcloth. Um, how do you spell detergent? Is there an other vowel apart from e? I don't believe there is, and I don't think there's enough e's in there anyway. Um, how do you how can you make a z based word? Maybe they use a z in place of an s. American s spelling. Um. Chore. That that could have been a right. That could have been a word. See, maybe housework. Something like that. There's no K or W. Oh, I mean, U. Hmm. A four letter word now? We're doing four letter word? Shower? Shower is a span gram. Conditioner. I take showers. I'm escape shampoo. <laughs> I see it. Razor. Oh, oh, other way. That's record time, baby. That's record time. That's damn good. I'm getting better at this. We're gonna getting better at this food, yes. Yeah, so, run, run me some food, my king. Pork shoulder, dried hominy. Organo cumin bay leaves. I see bay leaves. I'm thinking Asian. I see pork shoulder. I'm thinking is not India. Um, maybe Singapore. No, uh, cilantro. It's not even Asia. It's probably South America in that case. How about Brazil. Pozole. Okay, this is um Spain. How can I be wrong on all three counts? That makes no sense. Okay, well, it's Mexico then. Uh, Brazil is not is not cold from Mexico. Brazil is warm to Mexico. Actually, you know what? It is probably cold because there's so many countries. You know what? I, that's, I got it, so I'm not going to complain that much. What is this? It's a soup. How many is nixtamalized? That's a word and a half. Nixtamalization. The cooking and steeping of maize and water mixed with an alkaline solution. Soaking it, washing it, and then hulling it. Okay, I see what's going on. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a guess and this is that this is China. Swan Meitang. Sour plum soup. Is it sweet? 
to drink. It looks more like a jelly, I guess, but maybe the size of actually it's like, it's like a shot. Can you make an alcoholic version of this? Probably, right? It's it. I would, maybe it's a mixer as well. I mean, not in, not originally, but like, you know, it's a sour. That's it. It seems really good though. I I would I would honestly have to try it. Seems delicious. Okay. This is literally the most generic piece of food I've ever seen. France. Nope. Indonesia. Nope. Tomato Brady. Brazil. I'm, I've guessed the continents. It's Africa. It's, it's Nigeria is cool. Okay. South Africa. Bang! Apparently I'm good at locating countries after I get it wrong every single time. It's hard to get South Africa from triangulation though. I mean, it's literally, it's at the very bottom. It's derived from the Malay word. I was on the right track. Was I not? This is, it's just a stew of meat and vegetables. Like, I mean, no, no culture really invented this. I'm a foodie and below average, but you know. We got there in the end. I think I'm going to consider myself good as a result. As a result. You know, well, Pokidoku, you're back on the, on the list. Thing is, if you're splitting them in two, it just makes sense. Fairy water. What's that guy? Tapu Fini, I would. It's a tired joke. I'm going to stop telling. I'm going to stop making the joke that I would have intercourse with the Pokemon because everybody knows. Okay, Kelo, a Colossian water type. Um, what's the Froki? I was wondering what's going on with Froki. Very psychic. Um, Naturine. A trade evolution fairy Pokemon. I'm screwed. I'm dead. I'm in buried in the water. Anti psychic. Mew. Mew. Colossian psychic. Cantonian. Colossian. It was it just it just run Del Fox. You know it's the right answer. If I trade cutoffs, do I does they even have those anymore? I'm terrible with the Evolve by trade category because I had Well, I had France, I just didn't you know do much. Gengar I don't. I, I'm gonna stop pretending that I know the answer to this question. I don't know. The, I don't know about my trade theory either. What are they? Ah, yes, these guys. The the ghost guys, Aromatis and Slurpuff, which I assume are the only ones that you will be able to do here. Literally fifty fifty with <laughs> the perfect Pokemon. Unlimited mode, Pog. Unlimited mode. Randomly generated. Unlimited mode. I'm not gonna do it. I could literally exhaust the attack. I could, I could memorize all the Pokemon if I did that, and I'm not going to do it yet. Maybe if I ever end up at the point where I'm doing donation goals, that's one of them. But until such a point, if that's the case, I'm good. Is my belief. Kale, Vokadal, Vokadal, Vokadal. I got my strategy for a second. Swadloon, my beloved. Okay. The first stage, non bug, non grass type. You could, you could find me on a Spiro, perhaps. Gen 1. No, no, we're not flying, no bug, no grass. Probably a water type in that case. Maybe a, a Magikarp. It is a monotype. It is not in the water. Fire type? Ponytail. But I assume Ponytail will be found in the fields. It's in a different kind of field. Okay, can we give me the hint? Poison type? Grimer. There's not really many other options. So it's it's Grimer, but it's okay, so it's coughing then. Apparently coughing lives in your damn house. This is 
Jirachi. It's not Jirachi? What am I looking at? Bug is steel. The fuck is this? I will do this, by the way. I'm, I'm not gonna. This is Genesect. But twist it upside down. This looks kind of like Jirachi if you squint. The world's weakest dragon Pokemon. Gumi. You know, we know it because it's a little guy. Hulu, it's a sheep. How droll. Okay, grid me. Poke my grid. Umbreon, Mata, Lily, Puppy. <laughs> this guy, first type, I've seen monetized. Squirt, Dark type that's way too electric. What is it? Maybe they got Dark Line type. Evolto, Dark type locked in the evolutionary line. Shift tree. No touch with electric, be a buddy. Hmm. We got a war Love losing Scotland. Easy enough. <laughs> Sorry. It's just it's just had to be done. I mean it's like Okay, cost code. Less waffling, more actually cost coddling. Aloha made. I she with some sort of soft drink. 24 pack of soft drink. It seems like a bit of a not premium brand, but like higher than your regular brand. I would say maybe one a one dollar a can. I say man, let's 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 go 21.99. Way cheaper. Okay, you'll don't fuck around. I forgot how good Costco was with this. It's been a while. It's been a while. Really? You don't you don't give me that one? 999, 949? Okay. 949 for 24 is fucking ridiculous. But oh wait. Conversion, conversion. Should have adjusted your expectations. I was thinking Australian dollars. I always forget American dollar. You and your dastardly American dollar right now. Damn good it is. Oh, it makes me sick. Makes me twisted and sick. D4 and F6 probably first, if I had to guess. Maybe a better, a better thing like this. Okay, Knight C3 is correct. Okay, it is G6. Maybe it's D5. Did I do D5 yet? Didn't. It's the Grunfeld. I'm familiar with the Grunfeld. Like in pretty, like I know what it looks like. I I could guess that this is the Grunfeld. I don't actually play it, nor do I nor have I studied it. In that sense, I'm not familiar at all. But you know, such is life. Okay, daily me spelling wise, pilferer. A verb meaning st That's not an easy word, but it's not difficult for me. Bellyache. A noun meaning pain in the ab- I thought it was going to spell it differently because it's one word, but- Singing. A verb meaning to- The thing you do your throat. Rhinestone. A noun meaning an- Cliff. A noun meaning a- Very interesting easy words this time around. Plantain. A noun- I'm familiar. Yeah, I'm plantain. Placate. A verb meaning to soothe- Versatile, an adjective meaning embracing a variety of sub. Beneficent, a adjective meaning doing or producing good, especially performing acts of kindness and charity. Beneficence stems from the Latin word beneficentia, back formed into English. Beneficent, a adjective meaning doing or producing good. This seems wrong. It's like an I or an O. Pachyderm, a noun meaning any of various non-ruminant mammals, such as an elephant. That's also just wrong. Coltan. 
a noun meaning a dull black ore that consists of a mixture of columbite and tantalite and is a minor source of tantalum. Columbo tantalite is from international scientific vocabulary. Columbo tantalite, you helped me with that one, brother. Generalissimo, a noun meaning the chief commander of an army. The word originates. Isimo. Silhouette. Music. A verb meaning to represent by a silhouette. That's just English, brother. Kakapo. A noun meaning a large chief. I've seen that one before. Precariously. A adverb meaning in a. Medium head hands today, bro. What are these words? Beneficent. Ah, uh, yeah, it was a night. Pachyderm. Fair enough. Pachyderm, pachyderm. I should have been able to guess it if I had thought about it a little bit longer, but. I was conf Oh, my brain was not. Um, it's not screwed on right. I haven't had my coffee today. And I really never will. Fairly tomorrow I will. Um, but you get my point. Who is searching for my profile? No? No, no comprendes, me personally. What is next? Synonuity. This is a, always an interesting one. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's impossible. We have time, let's do them all. It's pretty fun as well. No question. Frack. Well, it didn't, it didn't accept cocaine. It didn't accept it. I don't actually know what the difference or the similarity is. I'm not that kind of guy. Um, oh. Opening. Mouth. Mouth? Surely mouth works, right? Lips. Lip. Edge. Goon. No. Um, side. Oh, no. How does hole and corner? I'm not gonna ask questions. Um. Hit. Crevasse. Um. Canyon. Hmm. Oh. Streak. I don't know why that came up, but it worked. Uh, my brain is on lock for weird synonym connections here today, I guess. Although these are easy ones. Oh no. Round. Edge round, circle round. Thinking of biting of Isaac now. Mm. Okay, I... Sight, see, vision, potential, no? Okay, vision, vision. Hmm. Perspective, angle. Point, which I guess worked. Viewpoint is its own word, compound words. They do exist, my friends. Okay. Now we have some time. We can we can think of some other ways to run this one out. Finish the job. Pistol, rifle, sniper, shotgun. Now I'm just playing Counter Strike again. Um. Okay, that's that was easy enough. Honestly, I'm gonna skip the easy ones. I'm just gonna do the hard one. Let's not do four. Let's do two. Easy and hard. Splendidly, wonderfully, greatly. I 
How do I get out of the LY zone, man? I've escaped. I've escaped. Fine, gentle, calm. Okay, we've reached the weapon zone. We're safe. Hmm. How many more can I name? <laughs> That's a funny connection. Did that one faster because I reached my my word of choice. My young adult novel weapon synonym list, which I keep in my mind for some reason. I don't know why I'm so good at naming and it's for causing injury. I'm not even that kind of like, I'm not one of those knife obsessed people. In fact, I don't even like knives particularly at all. So, really, I've got nothing to say. Anyway, we did the easiest and the hardest. There's really nothing else we can do here. But you know what we can do is get video games. I haven't played that many games, what I'm realizing. Although I did recently just finish the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Great game series. First one. First one, good for introducing the concept to drags on a bit. Second one, great pacing, great overall. Um, uh, all I've got to do now, I'm not going to play the Layton spinoffs. I just, they, he, he just looks too goofy in those. But I will, I will be playing probably the translation of Prosecutor's Path 2. Gyakuten Kenji or whatever the translation is. I don't know. Anyway, what's this game? I don't know. Old ass game. Is this the one that everybody talks about? Not that one. The other one. What is that? Business simulation. Um. I don't know. It's this is an old ass game, dog. Railroad Tycoon. From what century is this game? DOS game, bro. Come on, I'm not gonna guess a DOS game. This guy coded this from his bare hands. He literally flipped the electrons himself. And you expect me to know it? Come on, be serious. Be for real. Sorry for that. Was any bugs? The only bugs I'm seeing is um this. Um, Diddy Kong Racing. Shockingly, it is a racing game. Burnout Three Takedown. Close. Is it a is it a dirt dirt four maps? 
Not quite. Is it a... It's not the game, the racing game. I don't know what the game is called. It just doesn't seem like a, for a Forza Horizon type game. Did they ever make a NASCAR? Motor Storm? I don't know. Flat out. Okay, that's a 2004 racing game for the Wii. Fair enough. Fair enough. You can't, you can't really expect much from that. But this is... Cooking Mama's Sweet Shop? I don't think that's gonna be right. But, you know. Never know. How about Total War? Or what? It'll be one of these. 100%. Yep, okay. Okay, Roman... Rome Total War? They got those things on them. Greece? Medieval 2, maybe. Um, Total War Rome 2? Okay, I'm beginning to think it's, um, it's, it's a Total War Three Kingdoms? Warhammer 3, released not two years ago. Well, Robots Darkness Pizzeria. Um, well, this is Five Nights at Freddy's, but the question is which one? Okay, the first one. Thank you. I'm not playing that game, though. I think I played it on my phone, like, a decade ago, maybe. <laughs> and it was not very fun, and it wasn't very scary either. No front on the people who are scared by jump scares. I react to jump scares because, like, your human body is built to react. It just doesn't work on me. I'm not saying I'm the kind of guy who doesn't get scared. In fact, some things will scare me very much. Like... Doki Doki Literature Club spoilers, I guess. It, it, gave, it gave me a real fright, but, you know. They made four of these damn games? Oh, brother. Anyway. Mm, not first person. Third person game from late old times. Released on none of these platforms? How old is this game? Alternatively, it could just be an older GameCube game. How about Pikmin 2? GameCube game? Older than this, though. And it's not part of the Pikmin saga. What other games came out on GameCube? But did, did, is Double Dash a GameCube game? It is. It is. And it is third person. Somehow I know the GameCube games despite not owning one. No, we still haven't gotten the genre right. Um... This is not a GameCube game, but I have to guess it anyway. Just to get a time frame of the, what's going on here. I don't even know where to begin anymore. Uh, there's no- none of the categories are right. Give me a clue. Sega. Okay, it's a Sonic. It's a Sonic game. Sonic Advance. I guess that came on the Game Boy Advance. Now that I think about it, but it is from that time period. Sonic Adventure. Nope. Sonic Heroes. An exclusively GameCube game. Super Monkey Ball. I actually know Super Monkey Ball. Didn't they make a sequel to that game? They did. I think I played the sequel in passing. They haven't owned it. Owned it. Well, that's one way to end the segment.